They're the Aussie couple who have shared their IVF journey with the country and now they're sharing their baby joys. They fell in love in 2018 and got engaged a year later. But before Wedded Bliss, Fiona Faulkner and Hayley Willis began the IVF journey, sharing the process on their podcast, What the IVF? And on the 22nd of March this year, the couple welcomed their baby boy, Hunter William Faulkner. And the ladies are here, but most importantly, Hunter's here too in the studio, and he's being such a good boy. Such a good boy. He's being such a good Look boy. Look at him, eight weeks old. Eight weeks old, Fiona. I mean, how has that been an adjustment in your life? Um, pretty... Although he slept seven hours last night, can I just say, yeah. he's showing stop, off. Stop showing off. <laughs> um, look, it is a massive adjustment. Um, yeah, we, we're we lucky we got here today in yeah. uh, one piece. Yeah, it was a, it was a rush to get here. <laughs> but getting him dressed, obviously, we take a lot of pride in what he looks but like. Got he looks shoes good. On, so. You've done well. Uh, no, it's it's been a huge adjustment, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, but, I mean, we were really lucky. I just got made the ambassador for the Healthy Mummy program and they... the owner, Rianne, actually supplied us with about what, 150... 150 Freezer meals. Freezer meals, like oh, pre-made meals, we which literally didn't have to cook. Saved us How good so is that? much. Yeah, huge. I don't know. Like I just couldn't even think about dinner time, let no. alone yeah. what time of day it was. It was literally the focus for the last eight weeks has just been on feeding him, and, and I had some hiccups in the beginning with him with feeding him because mm -hmm. he had a tongue tie. Yep. So he wasn't feeding properly for the first couple of weeks and so wasn't gaining weight. Sit, so there was there and... a lot. Go oh, sorry, there was a lot going on, and yeah. Now yeah. he's gaining weight and he's growing. Yeah, he's a little pork and... chop now. It's great. <laughs> they all settled into family life. It's yeah. just so beautiful to see. Yeah. And you know, so many couples out there are struggling to, you know, still on their IVF journey. Yeah. So yeah. what was that like for you, Haley? That um, process. It's look, like you said, there's a lot of couples out there who are struggling. It isn't easy. You definitely have a lot of failures to get to this point and sometimes you know we've we've interviewed people who haven't got to this point and they've just had to accept that that's life and it, it is such a tough journey and I think women are just for going on it to, mm. to start with and yeah. we are so blessed to have to have him with us but for all the women who who go through it we you know we're here to support yeah. them we're here to be a voice to tell them that you know and you're, you're not, not alone, alone. Like, you're not we, alone. that's one of the things that we found to start with you, you know you handed this this book of like a pamphlets of like this, that, and the other, and you're like, I don't know what to do with this. Like, <laughs> and so, then and then going through it, it generally like even though you know you've got your partner there, it can be feel like a really lonely journey. And yeah. you know we created the podcast just to make women women feel less alone. Yeah. And and I you know reading other people's things on Facebook, on the groups, I, yeah. it really helped me. Yeah. A common story with mothers that come out of this too is that we prep so much once you've gone through the process of IVF, if you're mm. lucky enough to get through it and conceive and then you're having the baby, and then there's like this, this whole lead up to like, here's the Lamar's breathing, or how are you mm. going to get through this? And then it's like, here's your baby, off you go, bye. <laughs> and it's like, I think a lot of mothers struggle. Is. After that, they struggle with that too. How I have you guys we, been going we, we wore like the birth suite and the nurse went to like, the, after we'd had him, we walked into the maternity ward. The nurse went to leave and we were like, wait, wait what, no, what do we, we do, do now? Yeah, what happens <laughs> now? Don't leave. And like, the, leave the first night with him, it was like, Hayley's like, turns the lights out, hops into bed, and she's like, go off to sleep. We go, I'm like, it's not going to work like this. And obviously he just started screaming and she's like, what? She's like, he'll be like, fine, just let him sleep. Shush, like, shush, shush, baby, shush. shush. Yeah. Let's control <laughs> Graham now. Let's control Graham oh, now. I was like, she's like, he's fine, just let him make he'll, his noise. I'm fine. like, let me at him. <laughs> well, you guys are doing a fabulous job, yeah. obviously. Um, and you've already been talking about a second baby, Hayley. Yeah, That was yeah. quick. We're just going to get it all out of the way, I think. No, yeah. I mean, oh, oh, we're going to chuck a wobbly, I think. But, um, no, I think um, we wanted to sort of get uh, at least two or three if we can. You know, yeah. we're blessed to have one, and if we can have any more, we'll be we'll stoked. But yeah. hopefully at the end of this year, I'll start trying. Um, I guess that's the... the yeah, um, after the wedding. The perks of having a... Um, right, so where the plans going? Oh, they sort of went Thanks to Hayley, she's doing most of it. <laughs> Wait a second, so she's dressing the baby, yeah. she's planning the wedding. Yeah. There we go. Turn around, yeah. champion. Oh. There you go. Sorry, everyone's going to have to see his booty. Oh, that's okay. No, that's um, good. Yeah, no, the wedding plans are good. They're, they're getting there. They're, we're on the back, back burner, but we'll, we'll get there. At Did some COVID like, like, sort of mess that up and, yeah, and everything yeah. else as well? Yeah, we were supposed well? to get married October last year, but all um, Fiona's family are Victorian, and when we oh. had to postpone, it was like 600 cases a day or something there, so we're like, let's just can it, like a lot of other people did, and moved it to this year. So, yeah, very, we'll, we'll get there. Year. Yeah. What a year. What you guys are having. Oh, uh, yeah, ticking a few boxes. You know. Bob, Mary, you know. <laughs> new job for you, so it's great. Yeah, yeah. Really good, so. it is a big year. Yeah, uh, you've had a bit of a tough time.
time with your mum though, Fiona? I have, yeah. My mum unfortunately has Alzheimer's mm. and um, we had to make a pretty tough decision recently to, to pop her into care. And, oh, mate. Um, yeah, just, yeah, it's tough. And, she's only but 72. She's, so yeah, she's only 72 and I guess I wanted to share it uh, publicly just to kind of raise awareness for this horrible disease that, you know, steals our loved ones uh, yeah, way too young. And, yeah, it's just, yeah, pretty tough. It's good that she'll still get some joy from Hunter. Yeah, and she does, yeah. It's yeah. actually really beautiful when we went home for Mother's Day. It, whenever I brought Hunter around and, uh, to her and we spoke about him, she could actually really connect with yes. him and, and gave me mothering advice. And, oh, and that's great. Yeah, lovely. like it really you know, remember those things, which is so beautiful to see. Yeah, those little yeah. moments that come through are just yeah. so great. Look, guys, you're doing a great job. He's fabulous. Look at him go. <laughs> oh, he's a hungry boy. Yeah. 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 He's well, we'll him, look, we'll let him do his thing. But yeah. uh, uh, follow Hayley and Fiona. Head to their Instagrams below. And don't forget, download the podcast as well, what the IVF is really essential. Yeah. Thing. Guys, congratulations. Really useful. Thank you so much. Big year ahead. Us. Keep us in touch <laughs> yeah. with what's happening. Thank you. Thanks so much, Thanks, guys. Still ahead on Today Extra.